Hey folks, getting ready to uh, unbox the uh, Call of Duty World War II Limited Edition Crate. Ready to, uh, and um, so I'm going to wait here a couple minutes <clears throat> uh, while I see what's going on here. There we go. See if I get any people in the, uh, in the chat room here. So uh, I tweeted it out, so I'm going to wait a minute and see if I get any uh, live watchers. If I get somebody, then I get somebody. If not, then I won't. But uh, so in the meantime, enjoy this music. Like other carbon-based life forms, you put the value of all life above your own. The world can be one together. Cosmos without hatred. Stars like diamonds in the eye. The ground can be space. Alright, I think I'm going to share on uh, Facebook as well. With feet marching towards a peaceful sky. All the moon men want things their way. But we make sure they see the sun. Goodbye, moon man. You say goodbye, moon man. Goodbye, moon man. Goodbye. Goodbye. What? What did you say? Uh, signing the signs. Still nobody in the chat, but I should just do this for uh, YouTube and uh, screw waiting on people to show up. <clears throat> I am live. Um, let's start uh, doing the unboxing at 1040. That gives you guys six minutes to get here. Six minutes. Twitch.tv forward slash Savage Sauce. Tell I need to shave already. Wow. This camera is really good. It picks up all kinds of detail. Oh. All right. Five minutes till the unboxing. Five minutes. Five minutes. So if you're watching on YouTube, just skip ahead. But I'm waiting for people to show up on uh, the Twitch stream. So, uh, yeah. Uh-uh. 
Bum, bum, bum. Would you lay it down? Could you lay it down? Would you lay it down? Can you see a Snoopy? I've got a Snoopy. He takes a poopy and then you clean it up. A poopy, poopy Snoopy. He's a poopy Snoopy. He's a, he's a real Snoopy. He's a fuzzy guy. He's a fuzzy guy. Can you pet him? Can you pet him? Will he not want to bite your face and eat your your eyeballs and tear your nose right off? Yeah, my Snoopy would bite your face off. Eat your nose and then spit it out for later. All right, we're going live in 30, uh, three minutes. Three minutes, folks. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, I'm gonna post some Facebook real quick. Tell them I see they got three minutes. You have two minutes to log onto my screen. One minute, one minute. One minute to go. Don't let me out. Let me out. Still nobody here. It's time to roll, folks. Oh, God. All right, so I'm gonna kill the music here, and we're gonna go just start this unboxing. All righty. There it is. The Call of Duty World War II Limited Edition crate. It's pretty big. Uh, I'll show you the sides. Powered by loot crate. Powered by Loot Crate. And then the bottom got some stuff on there. So, but once again, I'll let you oh, see that yeah. box. Oh, it's a big box. This box was $50, by the way. Um, I had a coupon code, so I saved a couple dollars off what the original price was. I think I saved like five or six bucks. But they come out with these special edition crates. Oh, I want to say like four times a year, somewhere. 
Or if something comes out and they want to promote it with Loot Crate, they'll come out with something like this. They've done it for Star Wars. Um, they do it for other certain movies and games and whatnot. And then you, you can get a special edition crate. And all the items in it will have to do specifically with whatever that movie or game or whatever it is. So, like, everything in this crate all has to do with Call of Duty. So, alrighty. So, let's pop into this box. Inside the box, it's just plain green. There's nothing fancy inside. You don't tear it apart to make something or anything. But, for the first item, which I did hear that it was going to be a hoodie inside the box. Well, it's not quite a hoodie. It's like a spring jacket type deal. I mean, it, I guess you could call it a hoodie, but but this is it. It's got a hood, of course. And uh, it's got the uh, Call of Duty star on there. Uh, it's got some nice pockets on either side. Um, the zipper seems pretty solid. Uh, the inside tag just says uh, Call of Duty. If you guys can see that. And there's the size I got. Extra large. But, yep. Yeah, so that's the first item is a Call of Duty jacket. So... That's kind of cool. Alright, next item. I almost want to say next item up for bid. Is, and it comes in a plastic bag. It's this metal plate. It says Call of Duty World War II Fight for Freedom. It's a, I don't know if you can hear that. It's a metal plate. Um, it's got some little tiny holes here in the corners for you to hang it up So you can find some place nice to hang it But yeah, it's nice and shiny. It looks pretty cool. I like it. So pretty cool. I Don't know if it's reminiscent of World War two sign, but I don't know if you can see that it's like got like lines on here that look like if it was welded together, which is kind of cool. Reminiscence of, you know, American uh, uh, manufacturing back then. So that, that's pretty cool. So we'll throw that back in to the plastic bag it came in. All right, and then the next item up is this pair of Call of Duty socks. I will uh, take them out of the bag here. And uh, so there's out of the bag. It says infantry. I started doing infantry, but then I switched to mountain because I like snipers better. But uh, let me take the... Uh, Take the thing off and I'll show you the socks in all their glory. So, it says Call of Duty World War II down there at the bottom. And each side of the sock says infantry. And on the inside of the sock, there's nothing. It's just plain green. So the other side has all the infantry and then Call of Duty World War II. So that's pretty cool. Some nice socks. I already have some Call of Duty socks, but I'll take another pair. Alright, next item up is these Call of Duty World War II playing cards. And I guess that makes sense because back in World War II, a lot of GIs had playing cards. During their downtime, they would play like poker or whatever. Or whatever game they were into. So that actually makes a lot of sense. So that's pretty cool. Let me bust them open and show you what the cards look like. If I can get them out of the box. Alright. There's the card. 
the front of the card. All the cards, I just looked, all the cards are the same on the front. They all have the Call of Duty World War II logo on the front. And there's the Joker card. And the Ace of Spades card. And know the other cards look pretty much like regular cards, just because they got that green hinge on them. Um, here's a jack. Here's a queen. There's a king. There's another ace. I'll go through all of them. I'm pretty sure all the kings and queens and all that. Maybe they're different. But there's another jack. Another queen. Another king. I'm going to skip the ace because it looks the same. With just the Call of Duty star. And I think all these jacks and queens are all the same. Jack. Queen. King. Do, 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 do. Um, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Whoa! I'm trying to keep these cards from falling over. All right, there's the final jack, queen, king, and another joker. So two jokers in this pack. And that's it for the playing cards. Pretty and the um, the the quality, I mean they feel like just regular plastic coated cardboard cards. They're not like high quality all plastic. They're car plastic coated cardboard. So uh, I mean as long as you take care of them, I guess these cards will last for a while. They're not high quality or nothing, but it's pretty cool. And uh, as far as values go, I, I I don't know. You can buy a pack of cards for like 99 cents. So there's the back of the box and the front of the box again. So pretty cool. All right. So the next item up is this. Call of Duty World War II anti-aircraft shell water bottle. There's the top of the box, bottom of the box. Yeah, see that? Made in China. Everything's made in China. Side of the box, side of the box. All right, let's crack this puppy open. And it's literally a water bottle in the shape of a artillery shell. And the top screws off. Just a plastic top, nothing fancy. And then uh, here's the top. Oh, uh, let me see how this works. Oh, so open. And then the top opens when you push your flu on. And then you just push that down. And then you can drink out of there. And then that screws off. There's the uh, whole top. So that looks pretty decent. And it looks like the lining inside is actually pretty insulated. From what I can tell. The walls are pretty thick compared from what I'm seeing to the outside. Probably got a half inch of insulation in there I'm guessing pretty close so uh, again there's the bottle um, the bottom you can see it they're really good uh, I'll flip it around there for you all right so I'll put that back together real quick so again that's actually pretty sweet I like it that's cool. All right, so uh, the next item we got 
So this is Call of Duty Metal Military Mug. There's the top. There's the bottom. Crack this box open. Is there anybody in the chat room yet? Let's see. Is anybody watching? Nope. So it's going to be all YouTube viewers pretty much. Alright, so all the box is nothing. And uh, there's the mug. It's a metal mug. Just like the GIs used to carry back in World War II. There's the bottom of the mug. Um, that just says a bunch of stuff about Activision and Loot Crate and food safe, dishwasher safe, don't put it in the microwave because, of course, it's metal. So that's pretty cool. Um, the next item up is this, uh... The Call of Duty, because Loot Crate always has a pin with everything, so uh, the pin for this box is uh, Airborne Pin. It says Call of Duty World War II. It's just a, like a regular button pin. So, I don't know. That's pretty cool. Alright, and then the last item which is not really an item, but it's just because Loot Crate every, always puts a, a book or a flyer or something that tells you about the crate. And uh, so here's the thing that spreads out. It literally tells you everything about every item. So I'll go over it real quick. So, um, the first item, like I showed you, was Suit Up Soldier Exclusive Military Hoodie. Um, invented in the 1930s and marketed mainly to laborers in the working class, the modern hoodie is a fitting interpretation of the military issue field jacket, a symbol of World War II GI. Warm, comfort, comfortable, and effortlessly cool, this military-inspired Call of Duty World War II hoodie will help you get the perfect start to any journey. Uh, okay, and then the next item was the socks. Socks on the ground. That says, the importance of a good pair of socks cannot be overestimated. Starting in World War II, or starting World War I and continuing into World War II, the need for comfortable socks to keep soldiers' feet clean and dry was of the utmost importance. Fear not, in our Call of Duty World War II limited edition crate, we fill, fulfilled that need with an awesome pair of full-color mid-calf field socks. Remember, you can't have boots on the ground without a great pair of socks. Alright, so the next item up is the, uh, the anti-aircraft uh, shell water bottle. Um, World War II changed the way America drank. With alcohol in low demand and often being used for torpedo fuel and other industrial processes, uh, water became a common ingredient in many drinks. Uh, combine that with the resourceful nature of soldiers on the front lines who often made use of every piece of scrap metal and material <clears throat> and you get the anti-aircraft shell water bottle. Don't forget to take a break from the action and hydrate. I'm just talking about that. I need to take a drink. Hold on. Alright, the next item up was the uh, playing cards. During World War II, a company secretly shipped cards to American POWs that contained detailed escape plans concealed behind the faces of some of their playing cards. While our cards contain no secret escape maps, they do contain some cool original Call of Duty inspired art. Plus, we hear that when shuffled by a master, these cards almost perfectly replicate the sound of a distant submachine gun ripping through a 30 round mag. Alright, then the next item up was the uh, metal sign join the fight. Uh, from Rosie the Riveter to Uncle Sam, propaganda was everywhere back in the home front during World War II. Much of that arresting art has become iconic today, regardless of whether it adorned a wall of a recruitment office, 
or the nose cone of a fighter plane. For you, we've got a piece of, uh, well, that doesn't make any sense. For you, we got a piece of that inspiring art printed on metal. Okay. Yep, that's right. Metal. We know that it was a ration material at the time, but hey, who doesn't want a highly sought out item? All right. The next item up was the Call of Duty pin and become a member of the Airborne. Uh, you finally did it. You made it as an active member of the Airborne Division. 16 drops into hostile territory, sometimes camping and sometimes rushing, though always keeping an awesome KDR and all the while dragging your new younger brother along for the ride. You deserve this. Congrats, soldier. And then, not last but not least, the uh, Grab a Cup of Joe military mug. Uh, we made it through Europe and out the other side cheers to those who answered history's call to arms with this virtually indestructible metal and enamel military mug uh, when you're done celebrating gear up once more and get back into the game and then I'm going to read the original card it has something on the back I'm going to read it to you real quick <coughs> alright private call of duty Returns to its historical roots with Call of Duty World War II, a blockbuster experience from Sledgehammer Games. From the beaches of Normandy to the Hurston, Hurston Forest, experience a dramatic story highlighting some of the most iconic moments of World War II as a young soldier who is facing the unforgiving reality of war alongside his brothers in arms. As you open your un your crate and unpack your gear, revel in the story of Call of Duty World War II's youngest protagonist, Ronald Red Daniels. Follow along as he and the other characters experience the unbreakable brotherhood of common men and women fighting to preserve freedom in a world on the brink of tyranny. And uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, Call of Duty World War II loot crate. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I want to say it's, uh, you know, quite frankly, I don't know if I if it's a fifty dollar value. I got a water bottle and some socks and a hoodie. I don't know. I think maybe if they would have put this like at the $35 range, it probably would have been more worth it. Because they, they're saying this box is worth $90. I, I, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just not seeing it. I mean, all, all this stuff is cool and all. And it ties ties into the game. And of course, I'm uh, in my Call of Duty World War II chair, as you can see. Um... So that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it, folks. Um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to start streaming soon. Oh, um, starting in January, I will be streaming every day for the 60-day challenge for Rocksmith. Um, I got Rocksmith 2014, and I got all the components uh, come into the house, so... As soon as I have all the pieces together, um, I'm going to start streaming every day, and it's going to be Rocksmith 2014 60 Day Challenge. And uh, I'll be playing Rooster. Trying to, so by the end of 60 days, they're saying I should be able to play Rooster like nobody's business. So we'll see how that goes. Um, all right, so that's about it. Um, I hope everybody comes back to my stream when I start streaming every day um, starting in January. Um, I haven't streamed a whole lot uh, lately because I've been busy working and life and all that good stuff. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Uh, keep coming back to my stream. Uh, keep visiting my YouTube channel. Uh, my stream is uh, twitch.tv forward slash savage sauce. Uh, my YouTube is youtube.com forward slash kkgodzilla. Um, 
Follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you want to. Uh, Mike Rota, R-O-T-A is the last name. And uh, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, this is Savage Sauce signing out. Till next time.